Hello and welcome to the Thumper Experience. And today we're going to be blessing your ears with some of the best podcasts you ever did hear. Um, these are my friends and I'm going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves. I am Dawson. I am Zach. And I'm Chase. And today, guys, we're going to get right into it for you. What are we talking about today, Zach? All right, today we're talking about the long-term, short-term effects of the virus on schools. That's a real big one today, man, a real, real big one, because um, especially with the online school and, um, you know, Wi-Fi connection and such, it's it, it really makes it hard. I know Chase has told me a couple of bad experiences he's had. Well, for online school, some people use Zoom or Google Classroom, but we use Microsoft Teams. And sometimes whenever I would go into Teams, it wouldn't work. It would freeze and crash on me. So I'd have to restart my iPad, and it would take a good five minutes for that to be fixed. And when I would go in, I'd already be late, and then I got I got marked at least once absent for that. Yeah, especially with absences and stuff. Like, that's, that's real serious, you know, because um, when most kids, obviously, they're like you. They don't have the right Wi-Fi connection. Their iPads don't work, whatever, but... For a lot of kids, and it's happened to me, um, it's just hard to get up out of bed in the morning. Yeah, to add on top of that, I think a big part of it has to deal with like lack of motivation. That's why I see a lot happening in the classes. Many kids don't even participate. Like you, compared to like in class, like you have a lot more participation going. But there's also like a hand, raise your hand button that I never hardly see used in the online. And I, I also think it has a, like, a big effect on like teachers because many teachers going into teaching were expecting to be like one-on-one -on -one type of situation or like like teaching in front of a class, not over a call, like over a chat. And they were, they're not really much technology literate at all. Yeah, I, I agree with that, especially in some of my classes, um, especially they'll they'll be like half the class will just be students that actually are there they'll um just be trying to teach a teacher how to use it you know and i feel like that really really affects the grades for them also it affects the learning process and you're just thrown into a really bad situation i agree man especially with the online school um it can affect anybody you know even the greatest students you know i had a co-worker had a 4.0 straight GPA, and then as soon as we went to online school, done for, man, straight Fs. That's what she told me, at least, and it's it's crazy, you know, that a student can be like that, but um, colleges look at that stuff, you know? It's, it really can affect your future. Also, I would like to add on top of that, the college dorms, you have, I wonder how that works, and you have to wear a mask and say six feet if you have your roommate and what if you get your roommate gets COVID and you have to stay out of class and stuff and stay out of your work and yeah. you're sitting there for two weeks without anything to do pretty much. Your class is just moving on without you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With that, like sitting out, not learning at all. Like you went into college going like two, four years plus paying all this money, getting loans. And you don't even know with the like, like with the regulations and all that you don't even know if you're going to get a job or even an internship at the end like it's like like you have to pay back that debt sooner or later yeah, yeah especially when like you said the loans and the um college debt um they're investing into their future you know and sometimes you know they're not going to be able to get that back and then they're just going to be messed up for life well on top of that there's also the cdc guidelines you know, in the school or work ethic, you know, you have the, one of the best experiences to go there. But when nowadays you have to sit there six feet apart away from, you know, other fellow students and you have to wear a mask and you have to sanitize everything to stay safe. And it just doesn't feel like it's going to feel the same. Yeah, it really takes, yeah. a, really takes a social aspect out of everything pretty much. But it looks like that's all we're going to have time for today, guys. Same time next week. We're out. Peace.